In psychology, the absolute threshold is the smallest amount of a stimulus that a person can detect. It's the point where something goes from being undetectable to detectable. For example, it could be the dimmest light a person can see or the quietest sound they can hear. How does absolute threshold work? The absolute threshold varies from person to person. It can also change depending on the situation. For instance, in a very quiet room, you might hear a soft whisper, but you might not hear the same whisper in a noisy place. Examples of absolute threshold, sight. Imagine you are in a dark room. You start to turn up the brightness of a small light. The moment you see the light, that's your absolute threshold for sight. Hearing, picture yourself in a silent room. You slowly increase the volume on a speaker. The instant you hear a sound, that is your absolute threshold for hearing. Touch, think about a feather brushing against your skin. You might not feel it at first, but as it gets closer and touches you lightly, you begin to feel it. That light touch is your absolute threshold for touch. Taste, imagine tasting different concentrations of sugar water. The first time you can taste the sweetness, that is your absolute threshold for taste. Smell, think about a flower's scent. If someone brings the flower closer to your nose, there will be a point where you first detect the smell. That point is your absolute threshold for smell. Factors affecting absolute threshold age. As people age, their absolute thresholds can change. Older adults might need a brighter light or a louder sound to detect it. Fatigue. If you are tired, your absolute thresholds can be higher. You might not notice dim lights or soft sounds as easily. Environment. A quiet, dark room can lower your absolute thresholds for sight and sound. Noisy or brightly lit places can raise these thresholds. Experience. People who are trained to notice certain stimuli can have lower absolute thresholds. Musicians, for example, might hear very quiet sounds that others might miss. Why is absolute threshold important? Understanding absolute thresholds helps scientists and doctors in many ways. It can help in designing better hearing aids and vision tests. It can also help create environments that are easier for people with sensory impairments to navigate absolute threshold versus difference threshold. It's important to know that the absolute threshold is not the same as the difference threshold. The absolute threshold is the smallest amount of stimulus you can detect. The difference threshold is the smallest difference you can detect between two stimuli. For example, the difference between two different shades of the same color.